why this video in November 2014 is documenting the removal of a Tourmark 1100 table in XY slides. First stage is just to remove the stepper motor and the box housing connector. Box connector, the stepper coupling, adjustment nuts. That was a pretty easy first step. I'm making notes as I go. Um, remove the coupling, the stepper motor, slips off easy enough. Remove the lock nuts and pull off the box housing. To pull off the box housing, I um, replaced two of the screws with long screws to give me guidance, pulled out the dowels, removed the short screws, and then just nudged it out. You want to avoid using force around um, bearings such as the ball screw bearings and the thrust bearings, particularly if you're using impact force. So really try and get it apart without doing that. Okay, the next stage of the process is to move the end of my enclosure, move the table switch cams, take the weight with a, some timber bolted across my die lifting trolley and First of all, I removed the gib completely, removed the little oil line on the end and slid the gib out, then took the weight with the table and carefully slid the table off, keeping it central so it didn't drag or scrape on anything. Okay, so this is the underside of the table exposed, the X slideways. You can see the oil is, I've just done a little test with the oil flow, it's coming out of the oil holes as far as I can see. There's none appearing there but you wouldn't expect it to because it's draining out uh, on the underneath dovetail quite well so it would flow there if that was blocked. So that's the four slides, so getting the oil okay. As far as I can see there's oil getting into the bull screw nut as well. I can't actually fully see that but it's pretty wet with oil all around it so I'm pretty sure it is. Next stage is a bit more complicated or involved rather. I tried to look online and get information uh, perhaps a YouTube video perhaps um, some forum posting about how to dismantle this machine but I couldn't find any information at thought, oh, well, I'll just have to work it out as I go. So to move, to, to remove the XY casting, um, you don't actually need to take the Y ball screw or nut out, but the problem is to, to get the screws out from the, um, the Y ball nut housing. They're screwed out from the underneath of the machine. So there's, there's four M6 caps and two tapered dowels. And so um, I had to lift the machine up in the air to get at those screws and tapered dowels. And of course, that meant removing some of the enclosure and a bit of work. Um, so I moved the whole machine back to under my chain hoist and put the lifting bar in place and actually lifted the whole machine up in the air sufficient to separate it from the base um, from the stand and then slip some blocks under so that I could get up under here my hand safely under there and remove the continuing on the battery went flat on me yeah remove the uh, four caps and the two taper dowels with little M4 cap screws um, and vice grips and prying those out. So that then meant that the XY dovetail slide casting could be removed. 
I also supported the Y ball screw here just to take the weight of it so it's not all resting on the uh, thrust bearings at the other end by the stepper motor although it probably isn't necessary it seems fairly safe without that but just playing it safe here so then I just removed the gimp and slid it right off the front obviously I had to take the chain out of the way to do that and here we are this is the XY side by casting you can see the Tursak type of material um, just on the big flat faces the um, dovetail faces don't have any coating um, there's the gib while I'm over this way this is the underside of the X slide away the ball screw It looks like a branded ball nut, HJG S508901. A ground ball nut would end safety bumper stops. And a ground table, of course, no two side type there either. That's the uh, Taper gib. Um, not much more to see there.